Now, a very serious punishment could be in store for a former Aldine ISD teacher accused of having sex with a student. Today, Alexandria Veda pleaded guilty to a lesser charge in the case. Good afternoon. I'm Sarah Donchi. And I'm Keith Garvin. We've been following the story since Vera turned herself into police back in May. She could now face several years behind bars. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard has been following this story since the court hearing happened downtown earlier today. He joins us live with what should happen next. Ryan? Now we know right now there is an investigation underway, but come January the 13th, everybody will be right back here in the courthouse on the 17th floor. 24 year old Alexandria Vera said nothing as she left court. For now, she is free on bond. In about two months, a judge will decide what comes next. In court, she pleaded guilty to the charge of aggravated sexual assault of a child. She was an English teacher at Stovall Middle School in Aldine ISD, where she was accused of an ongoing sexual relationship with her student. That relationship with a 13 year old eighth grader resulted in her pregnancy. Investigators will now spend the next two months preparing a pre sentencing investigation for the judge. Pre sentence investigations is generally a movie that we've seen a number of times that usually ends badly for the defendant. KPRC Channel 2 legal analyst Brian Weiss says even though attorneys on both sides agreed the sentence would be capped at 30 years, there is a very high probability that she will spend time in prison. Ordinarily ends with the defendant being taken away in cuffs and walking out of the back door of the jail in the custody of the sheriffs as opposed to the front door with his family by his side. Court documents show she terminated the pregnancy after she was questioned about the relationship. Next, she and her attorney will return to court early next year to hear her sentence handed down by the judge. There's a lot more coming up today at 5 o'clock. We'll take a look at what this 30-year cap could mean to this case. We're live downtown. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Ryan.